Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to transform any photo into a classic blueprint drawing. This is an update of tutorials I've done on earlier versions of Photoshop. This update is cleaner, faster, and more efficient. Before we begin, if you're not already a subscriber to Blue Lightning TV, click that small subscribe button at the lower right corner to let you know as soon as I upload new Photoshop tutorials. I provided this paper texture that you could download. Its link is in my video's description below or project files. Open an image that you'd like to use for this project. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock. To ensure that your end result will look similar to mine, go to Image and Image Size. Make sure its resolution is 150 pixels per inch. Its size doesn't matter as much. Next, we'll place our image onto the paper texture document. Make sure your Move tool is active. If it isn't, press V on your keyboard. Press Ctrl or Command A to select your image, and Ctrl or Command C to copy it. Open the paper texture, and press Ctrl or Command V to paste your image onto the paper texture. To reposition and resize your image, press Ctrl or Command T to open your transform tool. Drag your image to the center. To resize it, if you're using a Photoshop version earlier than CC 2019, go to a corner, and when you see a diagonal double arrow, press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag it in or out. If you're using CC 2019 or later, just press Alt or Option as you drag it. Then, press Enter or Return. Next, we'll crop our image to the size of the paper document. Press Ctrl or Command A to select the document, and go to Image and Crop. Then, deselect it by pressing Ctrl or Command D. We'll convert our image into a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively. Doing this also allows us to replace our image with a different one without having to redo the effects. Click the icon at the upper right of the Layers panel, and click Convert to Smart Object. Go to Filter, Stylize, and Find Edges. The next step will straighten out all the vertical lines in our image. It isn't essential, but if you're using a CC version, go to Filter, and Camera Raw Filter. Click the Transform icon, which will open the upright panel. Click the Vertical Mode icon, which will straighten out vertical perspective. Next, we'll frame it with a white border and thin black outline. Double-click an empty area of the Smart Object layer to open its layer style window. Click Inner Glow. The Blend Mode is Normal, the Opacity is 100%, and the Color is Black. The Source is Edge, and the Choke is 100. I'll make the size 51 pixels, but feel free to adjust the amount. The contour is linear, and the range is 50%. Click Stroke. Make the size 1 to 3 pixels less than you typed in for inner glow. The position is inside. The blend mode is normal. The opacity is 100%. And the color is white. Let's collapse the effects to save some space in the Layers panel. Click the Adjustment Layer icon, and click Black and White. Click off the Lock icon to unlock the background. Drag it to the top of the Layers panel. Change its Blend Mode to Linear Burn. We'll brighten our image by clicking the Adjustment Layer icon, and clicking Levels. I'll drag the Input Highlight slider to 218. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. We'll fill the empty layer with a blue color. Click the Foreground color to open the Color Picker. In the hexadecimal field, type in 0, 0, 3, 6, A, 5. Then, click OK or press Enter or Return. 
Fill the empty layer with the foreground color by pressing Alt or Option plus Delete. Change its blend mode to Screen. If you'd like to brighten or darken areas of your blueprint, scroll down and click the icon of the black and white adjustment layer. Click the On Image Adjustment tool and then click on the area of the image that you'd like to adjust. Drag right or left to modify the color slider for the predominant color at that location, making it darker or brighter in the image. If my tutorials have helped you learn or improve in Photoshop, or even just inspired you to explore your creativity, please show your support by joining my community of patrons on Patreon, or by becoming a channel member by clicking the Join button below the video. Either way is greatly appreciated. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.